In the last lesson, you have uh, learned about Linux commands. Now, there are so many Linux commands available that sometimes it's difficult to find out how to use them. In order to get more information about these Linux commands, there is man, which is also a command, and it's the best source to get extensive usage information. In man, you will have sections that define command types, and many man pages also have examples. And you can search in man pages using slash. Now, man is not the only option. There are other documentation solutions, but you won't be using them as much. Uh, GNOME, for instance, has uh, full documentation available in info. And pinfo is an easy way to navigate, uh, much easier than info, uh, but you will only use them in exceptional cases. Uh, I would uh, suggest you focus on learning man. It's really important. Let me show you. All right, uh, let me start by using uh, man on the who command, for instance. That's a nice and simple command to get started with and to explore the structure of man. So on the top line, uh, you can see the name of the command with the section number behind it. Now you might wonder, hey, if Linux is case sensitive, then why on the top line do we have who in uppercase? Well, that's because of respect for history. The very first man pages that were created long, long time ago in the early 1970s, and which, by the way, ca are kept in the Museum of Computer History in Mountain View, California. They had this uh, header line on every single printed page uh, where you had the command in uppercase. And that's why, out of respect for history, that never went away. I'll tell you about these section numbers later, uh, but section one, uh, that is where you find commands that can be used by ordinary users. Then we have a short description of the command, the name of the command and a short explanation what it is doing. The synopsis, which is telling you how to use it. In this synopsis, we find different elements that are quite, uh, quite common. Uh, here we have the element between square brackets. That means that it is uh, optional, so you don't have to. Here we have the three dots. The three dots is a repeater from the previous elements. So you may use an option, and the three dots is indicating that you can even use multiple options. And then we can specify a file or arguments, and uh, well, that's between uh, square brackets, so that means it's also optional. Uh, notice the use of the pipe sign here. The pipe sign uh, is used uh, as an OR indicator. So you use either a file or you use one or more arguments, but you can't use both. Then, and that's what's so cool about man, you can see a description of all these different options. And in case you are wondering, hey, didn't we see them uh, with minus minus help as well? Yes, you did, uh, but not as much information. And that's what you use man for. Man is giving so much information. Uh, at the moment you are done, use Q to get out of here. Now let me use man on a command that has a little bit more, uh, more information, like man on RPM. RPM is a Red Hat package manager. And there you can see it starts with the synopsis as well. And it's, this synopsis is a lot longer. Uh, and you can use the spacebar to scroll through uh, the man page and get to the next uh, page. And as you can see, there is a lot here. Now, if man pages are big, and sometimes they are, then you can easily search in a man page using a slash. Uh, let me use slash, uh, and let me find on query, for instance. You can see in the lower left corner what I'm typing, and I'm typing query, and it highlights the first time from that current position on uh, where it has found the word that I'm looking for. Uh, if you are searching for something, use N for next. So you can do that as many uh, times as you want to see all the different query options that are uh, available. I also like uppercase G in man because uppercase G brings you uh, all the way to the end of the man page where you have C also and sometimes even examples. The C also is for related commands and the examples, well, that is for your examples. No matter how big a man page is, as you can see, 730 lines uh, in this case, uh, use Q to get out of there. So in Linux, there are so many commands available. And because there are so many commands available, uh, the documentation in man is organized in different sections. And for administration, uh, there are three sections that matter most. 
Section number one is for executable programs or shell commands. Section number five is for file formats and conventions. You will use it for configuration files, for instance. And section number eight is for system administration commands. That's indicating that you need root superpowers in order to use the command uh, completely. And all sections are described in the man page for man, man, man. And if you want an introduction to what the specific section number is all about, use man followed by the section number followed by an intro. Let me show you. Okay, so we were just in man for who. Oh, no manual entry for who are, uh, just who. And here you can see who with a one behind, uh, behind it, uh, embraces. Uh, that's a section number. And the section number is in all man pages to the top. Uh, man RPM, for instance, you can see section number eight. Uh, for a full description of the section numbers, use man, man. Uh, and you can see the description right here. For an RHCSA level, you only care about sections 1, 5, and 8. But if you get deeper to the Linux operating system, you might get interested in other sections as well, like system calls and library calls uh, and kernel routines uh, and other options. Now, if you want uh, more information about what a section is doing, uh, you use man followed by the section number, uh, and then you type the word intro. This works for all of the sections. So here you can see uh, that it's providing an introduction to system calls. Now also interesting to know is uh, if you type man pass WD, what's so special about pass WD? Well, pass WD happens to be an, uh, an item that is documented in multiple sections. So I'm typing man pass WD and it will show me the first that it has found. And if I get out of there uh, using Q, uh, then it's done. If you want to make sure you don't miss anything, type man minus a. Man minus a is for all section numbers. Here I'm in pass WD section one again. I'm pressing Q and it's telling us, hey, I found another one, pass WD one OSSL. Do you want to view? Uh, no, I want to skip, so control D. And then I found another one, uh, pass WD five. And if you think, well, five, that's about config files. I like that. You press enter and you can see it. And once you are done again, you press Q and this seems to be the last one. The last thing that I want to tell you about is if there are different numbers where your command can be documented, uh, then you can pass the section number immediately. So if you type man five pass WD, you immediately hit section number five. If that is where you need to be, it can be quite convenient.